Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us our salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, Put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night. When people are saying, peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them like labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. For God did not destine us for wrath, but to gain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, as indeed you do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia. at his teaching because he spoke with authority in the synagogue there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon and he cried out in a loud voice what have you to do with us Jesus of Nazareth have you come to destroy us I know who you are the Holy One of God 
Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about this his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 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 you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm sorry, it's just you sneezed and all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, put him in a plastic bag. <laughs> y'all know y'all were all thinking that too. Uh, but uh, I recently watched an interview uh, with the Monsignor Rosati. He, was, he is an exorcist. And he told a story of a cardinal of the church who was speaking to the famous exorcist of Rome, uh, Gabriel Amorth, Father Amorth. And the cardinal was saying, you know, all this stuff about possession and demons and temptation, you know, all this. He, he said he didn't believe in this. And Amorth said to him, well, I've got a book for you to read that may help you. And the, the cardinal said, oh, what is it? He said, the Bible. Because Jesus dealt with issues like that. He dealt with these creatures. But we in our society now have relegated them to myths, to fantasies, to some type of Halloween costume. We no longer see the reality of evil. And personified in the devil and demons. We think of evil and we give it a generic, like a big massive black cloud that is just out of our reach. But we say that's evil. And we don't want to go into evil. But as I thought about it more, I said to myself this morning, uh, the black cloud is not there. In many ways, it's in here, within me. For didn't Jesus say in the gospel, where do where does the things that are unclean, where do they come from? They don't come from here so much as they come from here. From out of a man comes, and he listed that series of things that we heard suddenly, out of a man, out of us. And that's why we have to be on guard because if we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit, that light burning within us, then it can protect us from the darkness. It can help also uncover areas in our own life, in our own soul, which need to be cleaned out through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So I would encourage you, it's not there, that we need to worry about. It's more so here. Because that's where Satan's playground is. Here. That's where he loves to go after man. Here. And that's where the darkness resides. Here. And that's why I and you need to pray. Holy Spirit, come and enlighten here. May it help me to be a saint. And in doing so and growing in faith, prayer, holiness, and living the faith, becoming a message of the gospel in itself, then, then the Holy Spirit leads us to heaven. He is the one who inspires us to be holy. He guides us in the process of being holy. And he will welcome us as, as holy one day at the Beatific Vision. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come in.
together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video. For the needs of you here present in our chapel today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray a prayer of thanksgiving that the tornado that came through our area yesterday did not do any more damage than it did, and that there was no loss of life, to my knowledge. Uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude and ask the Holy Spirit's guidance during this time in our lives. Glory, Glory be to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We the Lord, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through me made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining through your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Not to save his command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. The Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you and our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael. O St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in hell. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine powers, burst into hell, Satan, all the evil spirits, who wander through the world, seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. The divine praise of protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His